Hey there! In this video, we're going to be starting up our new Kendara account. We're going to head over to the Play Store or the whatever the iTunes or iPhone version is of that. Maybe it's iTunes, who knows? And you're going to download Kendara. Uh, now that I have Kendara already downloaded, I'm going to open it up and tap Get Started. We're going to select I want to avoid pregnancy using fertility awareness. And we're going to just uh, uncheck this box that says forecast my future periods. I have a whole video about why we do not want to have any cycle predictions turned on, so we need to turn this off. And you know whether or not you have irregular cycles, honestly, it doesn't really matter because, again, we don't want Kendara to make predictions for us. So I'm just going to say that my last period started on, mm, let's say July 1st. And we're going to come up with a email and a password. And we'll create our account. All right, here you can swipe through for a brief tutorial where Kendara will give you some of the basics. So, you know, it's saying that we can impart, we can input our temperatures daily, select the type of cervical mucus we're seeing, just showing a basic um, indication of, you know, a temperature shift here, as well as how the cervical fluid is measured in bars. Okay, so let's enter Kendara. Okay, so here's where we have our general calendar. You can go through and select when your last period started, and this is a great place to get started. If you have not had a period or bleed recently, that's okay. Just select a random day to get your chart started. We don't want that to be holding us back from getting started with charting, so it's all good. So basically, when you tap any date, let's tap July 1st, uh, we're, we come up with a series of choices. So we're seeing at the top temperature inputs, you would just tap the temperature line and it gives you the ability to scroll up and down and select which, te which temperature you have for the day. We also have the cervical mucus section. We're either going to input daily, none for dryness, sticky, medium, um, or lots or little for a yellow day with our FEM notations. If anyone is watching this video and they don't practice FEM, then you need to adapt these cervical mucus observations for your particular method, but this Kandara, this Kandara tutorial is specific toward FEM. So none would correspond to G mucus days, sticky would correspond to a yellow flag day, creamy would correspond to EL mucus, and egg white corresponds to ES mucus. Just ignore watery because with them we're seeking to simplify our observations and that's just like one extra thing to remember that we don't really need or trying to not overcomplicate things. So just disregard watery. You can also input sex on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's protected, unprotected, with using withdrawal with correct use or insemination. I want to just point out that insemination is um, much more rarely used. This would be for um, someone who is trying to conceive and you know having procedures done with like formal ins insemination. So protected, unprotected, and withdrawal are the choices that we're typically going to be using. We also have an input for menstruation, light, medium, or heavy, as well as spotting. You can turn that on or off. And then of course we have our custom data and our journal there at the bottom. The journal is great for adding notes about cervical mucus. For example, what color was it? How much did it stretch for the day? Etc. We're talking about the most fertile observation of the day here. In terms of custom data, you can add that in by tapping add. And then we're just going to add in something like cramps, and you can check or uncheck that. To add more, just tap edit, and then do add again on that bottom left area. 
Um, other things I like to add in, maybe vitamins, um, maybe headaches, or if you have another specific type of cycle symptom that you wanted to track. Um, maybe you're taking a supplement daily, like magnesium or something like that. You can add that in. And with the free version, you can add in up to four options. So another one, maybe you'd want to track your libido. So that can be another option. With the um, free version, if we try to add another one, let me just see what happens. Let's say we wanted to track, let's see, we already have our sex drive tracked. Hmm. Maybe our sleep. Let's say we have a really good sleep for the night. You wanna track that. Okay. This is allowing us to do five. That's kind of interesting. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe just see for you how many it will allow you to add with the free version. Okay, that's what we can do. When we look at our chart, we're gonna tap this little button sort of on the bottom right to the left of the people button. Uh, it kind of looks like a lightning bolt. So let's tap that and we see our chart. The day um, is highlighted in blue that represents the current present day. And then on the left there, we see those days of menstruation. So this is our chart so far, not much data there. We would need to input more data about temperature and cervical mucus to have a more well-rounded chart, as well as, of course, any sex that we would chart. If you want to ever view and send your entire chart to someone, we're going to be tapping the three dots in the upper right corner, and we're going to then tap share this chart with community, the first choice that we see there. Mm, in terms of creating a username, I'm just going to, I don't know, think up something. Maybe just Megan Fantastic. Birthday, we'll just do a random one. Okay, and then it shows us our full chart. What you would do from here is take a screenshot, like so, and then you can go through, and I like to just crop out the relevant um, info so that that's all we're really seeing. And we don't see this huge screenshot. We can just save that. Okay. To get back, you're going to tap that left arrow at the top left. Next, we're going to look at settings in the top left, that little um, hamburger button where it's the three horizontal lines. I call it the hamburger button. And we're going to go to settings, this little gear button. Now, here's where we can um, really ensure that um, we're helping our charting in the best way that we can. With Fahrenheit charts, you want to ensure that the um, temperature is being charted to the 0 option, like it is here. With Celsius, it doesn't really give you an option. It just um, automatically has you chart to the 0 0. And that's the settings that we should be doing um, for either of those, uh, respectively. Automatic cycle start, that is the one thing that can stay on. Basically what it means is when you go to input menstruation, it's on day one of menstruation, it starts a brand new cycle or brand new chart for you. Meaning that, um, you know, say I was to go a couple weeks just of cervical mucus and then I had a bleed menstruation, um, I would then, you know, chart that in and then it would automatically create a new chart for me. So I will leave that one on. You can also uncheck it, and then it simply means that if you go to type in menstruation for the day and chart that, it would just double check with you that you, you know, whether or not you did want to actually start a new cycle or a new chart. Um, community notifications, I'm gonna turn that off because I don't particularly recommend uh, the Kandara community just because sometimes um, the advice there um, may not be accurate. I always recommend working with a qualified instructor one-on-one um, -on -one or you know in a group setting to get the most accurate charting advice. Um, so that's what I would say about that. In terms of security, you can uh, adjust those as you'd like. Here we go though with data screen customization. So 
all these options that are currently turned on, I love those. You can also optionally chart your cervix position, vaginal sensation. I also like to have tests checked off. And then with mood and vaginal sensation, I believe those um, are features unique to the premium, but I don't know. Maybe it's giving me a free trial of premium right now. Honestly, I'm not really sure what's happening, but it's letting me check off these things. We shall see what happens. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to go back to a data entry screen. And now we can see at the bottom, we have these different sections added. So let me just see when I go to type in dry for the sensation. Looks like it is allowing me to do that. Interesting. You can also do positive or negative for LH testing, pregnancy tests, etc. And then if you don't want any of that, just tap it again and it'll go away like that. Okay, so that pretty much sums it up, honestly. Um, in terms of settings, if you want to, you know, ensure that you're getting a more accurate charting experience, please watch my other video about how to turn off predictions in Kendara. That goes into more depth about how to do that because you actually need to do that on a computer in addition to what you see in the app here. So, um, yeah, in terms of how the tests show up on the chart, we see this positive for LH test where I just charted it. Um, that's how it would look on that line is a little plus sign and then vaginal sensation would be um, gray for dry and then different degrees of pink um, for the other sensations. Okay, I won't be giving any actual like tr specific charting advice in this tutorial aside from how we input um, the different uh, biomarkers that we can chart. Ooh, let me show you really quick before we wrap up how a custom data point would show up. Let's say I had a headache on day one of menstruation as well as cramps. I'm going to check those off and then I'm going to tap the lightning bolt to look at my chart. We see there on the bottom left um, those two days where I did experience those symptoms now have a gray dot to show that. If I go to look at my whole chart, it looks like that. Okay. So this pretty much wraps it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you have any other comments or questions. Um, just do that below. Go ahead and comment there and I will see you in the next video. Bye.